Gods, I feel my life slipping from me. The old jaunts of youth no longer bring me pleasure. To even hold up my shield takes my last reserves of strength. In the lonely hours, I lay awake, contemplating my life and my legacy. In the darkest moments, my mind tortures me with thoughts of loss and death. Was it all worth it? The thousands dead, good men all. Many more enslaved to live a life of cruelty and pain. My own people scorn me for my war taxes, and my eldest son spits on me for removing him as heir. Will they speak all this in the histories? Will they sully my name with the trails of dead? Or will they speak of conquest and glory, of battles and bravery? This I do not know as I lay awake. But it obsesses me through all my waking hours and creeps into my dreams like a thief in the night. But I know one thing in happiness. Antiochus II will take up my legacy and my name. And I pray to you gods that his burdens weigh lightly on him. And that his rule is great. So great in fact that it eclipses even me. And if this comes to pass, then I will be overjoyed. If the histories mention me only once as the man who made great Antiochus his heir, then I will lay happy. Soon I know I will be with you, father. And I meet my grandsire for the first time. Will you greet me with open arms and happiness? With the fanfare of the gods? This I hope and pray as my life slowly slips away soon soon hi guys welcome back to red dog gaming where today we are continuing our rtr imperium serectum campaign in version 0.5 and can you tell i am really enjoying this campaign guys i know the last episode was a little bit salty but i am absolutely loving this so far it is fantastic um and it's been going really well now a little bit of behind the scenes uh, for you guys I generally record these episodes then kind of do the intro pretty much straight afterwards or the day after just because it's fresh in my mind and I need to but I'm, I'm over recording at the minute I'm recording a bit far ahead uh, which means that I have to do the intros a little bit further in time and then I forget things and have to re-watch them so I'm making myself have more work uh, <laughs> but I'm just enjoying it so much that I'm yeah I'm just enjoying it too much to really to really not carry on playing, guys. So, I've also noticed, and I don't know how I didn't notice this last time. Goddamn Antigonids are at war with us, guys. What's going on with that? The lucky good thing is, they only have one settlement that borders us. Um, I do have my Mr. Diplomat over here, and... I mean, they do have settlements. I don't know why would they declare war on us. It's kind of weird. Did we... Yeah, we, we talked to you, haven't we? Uh, oh, God. We can't get anywhere. <laughs> Our poor diplomat. He's stuck. Um, so, Cappadocia as well, guys. One thing with Cappadocia. So, we are building this into a recruitment hub. But uh, one thing I failed uh, to remember last time is that you do need these uh, Greek colonies as well to make these places into recruitment centers. So we were gonna make Iconian a recruitment center and I'm gonna still do that. But first thing we need to do is actually get this to second level colony, then build the city barracks. So that's 10 turns away. Um, and then we should be able to retrain the Theroporoi and the Greek Hoplites there. Um, so we need to build the colony and the recruitment building in kind of unison. Also, interestingly, there's a like, this region seems massive. Um, is there a city in there, or is it this city? Surely it's this city, but I'm going to check. Well, there's their army. Hello, boys. Yeah, there isn't a city in there, is there? No city in there, so it is definitely up there. 
They're coming probably to siege down Ladokia. Oh, it's going to be a tough fight, that, actually. Hmm. It's going to really be a tough fight. Whether we manage to bring some of these guys across, I think we'll have to. I think two generals versus whatever they've got there. They don't even have a general. Will be enough with a couple of extra uh, supplementary units. Over here, we are sieging down Jerusalem. We are well on the way to Judea. And of course, we made Antiochus our faction heir because of his glorious campaign in the south. In terms of the regions here, guys, I'm pretty sure from watching Terminator's campaign, they have a few regions down here in this farmland, you see. I don't think they've got a huge amount here. Like, I think this is pretty much just desert. Um, and it might be rebel territories. And then, of course, they've got here. And then pretty much their settlements just go directly down the Nile. So that's one thing we need to look out for. If we come through here and we don't find anything, that's fine. We'll be able to find it um, at some other point. And I do need a spy so I can actually scout ahead. Uh, but there's nowhere around here that I can recruit a spy. Not for miles. Can I even recruit a spy here? Is it um, a market I need? Yeah. Uh, hopefully there's somewhere down here that I can build a market. There is. So I think we'll do that next turn as well. Um, in terms of our trade and taxes, guys, when we get to 40,000, that's when I'm going to start reducing all the taxes everywhere. I'll put everywhere on low so we get that population growth. Because long term, remember, guys, population growth is better than higher taxes early on. Uh, because you get more taxes for more population later on. It makes sense, doesn't it? Um, so anyway, without further ado, guys, let's get into our first battle of the episode. Now, they have a Theroporoi and a Hoplite and a Greek Archer. Cool. This is a pretty raggedy army now. Uh, but we do have a few generals. So we'll use them to the best of our ability. Also got some Zistaphoroi. Pretty nice. And victory is almost certainty. I think... We will fight this one. It's the first one of the, the episode. Or shall we not? Because this one very much... Yeah, we'll have to fight that one. So let's uh, let's auto-resolve this one. Like I said, guys, I kind of want to do a 1-2 policy with sieges of one uh, fort and one auto-resolved. If they're not very big sieges. See, 228 is quite a large amount of damage we've taken there. But... We'll still be fine. We'll be fine. As long as we're not losing elephants, that's all I really care about. Right, Kilos, you can stay in the settlement. Uh, say we got rid of you, though, Ariathus. He's brave, been in what? Ah, uh, no. We want, we want Ariathus. So we want to get rid of Akilos. I know that means our movement's a lot less. Um, do we double back for Kaunos? I think we have to. I think we kind of have to, really. Uh, and then down here, we can get some extra money. Let's get rid of that. Let's also rebuild these walls. Oh, this is actually quite a good place for a market, at set for a, uh, what do you call it? For a recruitment hub. But it, it's just so far from anything. We're only going to be taking these lands off uh, the Ptolemies. Don't think there's that many left, guys. So you can see there's one in here. And it's probably nestled in there somewhere. We go to Akilos, can probably see it. Yeah, there it is. Termesos. Uh, there's one, and there's like a couple down the coast. And I think that's us getting rid of the uh, uh, the Ptolemies out of Anatolia. That would be fantastic. Um, and while we're here, do we have enough money to build anything? Potentially that colony, if possible. But no, we can't. I think we saved that money then. Now, you guys up here are retraining, all of you, aren't you? Ah, that's given us the extra money to build a new unit. And honestly, I think the best option we can do here is getting a unit to just garrison here so we can take that extra Greek hoplite with us. Uh, oh, we were already building a Zista 4 weren't we? Okay, no, that's fine. Um, anywhere else we want to build a unit? Probably here we want to still build some Akantistai. A couple more units of those. Same in uh, Damascus. I've got this Akontistai moving down, but we're going to have to build a recruitment hub down here. And I believe we're making Samaria it, although it is Judean culture. Anyway, we will end the turn and let us see what happens. There's going to be a couple of rebellions, I believe, but oh well. 
Uh, the other thing, guys, while we are on the end turn, let me know which of the intros you have enjoyed the most so far. I think for me, episode one and potentially episode five. I like darkness. I like dark things in drama. So I like the darkness of episode five, the sadness of Antiochus Antiochus, um, the sadness of him and the, the burdens that he's put under. I liked representing that. Uh, oh, no. Well, the burdens have got to him. The burdens have really got to him, haven't they? Oh, that is that is a sad, sad day for our nation. Incredibly sad. At least Ariatheus is a pretty good commander. Oh, that is that is very sad. So let's have a look at the faction announcements. So we have Antiochus over here, who's now the new faction leader. Of course, his son, his second son, breaking with tradition. Uh, but we named him, of course, uh, because of that. Now, I wonder who is the faction heir. Was that... Antiochus got king. Plus two command when fighting infantry. Plus two command. Plus two command when fighting with when uh, with cavalry. So that's plus six command, bro. That's, that's pretty unreal. He's going to be an absolute beast of a boy now, isn't he? Fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, although... It's pretty sad that uh, he's dead. That Antiochus is dead. Let's just have a quick look at our family tree. Just to see who's been made faction heir. Uh, go to the family tree. Who is faction heir? Oh, Achaeus the Elder. I'm happy with that. But ideally, obviously, we want one of Antiochus' sons. So when Seleucus comes of age, Seleucos comes of age, we will... Uh, we will uh, do that. We will make him the faction leader. Right then. Without further ado, guys, let us take the ancient city of Jerusalem. First of all, let's uh, let's go through some of these notifications. Not completed. Oh, probably because Antiochus is dead. Ephesus has grown. Fantastic. We will build that straight away. Um, and then, yeah. Construction report. We'll go through that in a little bit. We don't really need to go through the construction reports at the minute, just because we are uh, yeah, we are not in a monetary situation that we can build everywhere. So yeah, I do want to take Kaunos, so though. That would be a pretty nice jewel in our crown, I would say. Antigonids, you fools! I don't know why you have declared war on me. It's it's a very sad situation, of course. Uh, Captain Ant Antiochus. Ceasefire, my boys. No. What about ceasefire map information? Trade rights. Except that we will attack. I mean, we are attacking, so... Is there anyone uh, who hates them? Let's see. Let's go on to diplomatic standing. And let's uh, pop it onto these guys. If it loads. Epirus. Well, Epirus, you sound like some good guys for an alliance. So let's go... We'll go up to Epirus, go and talk to them, see whether we can get an alliance and trade rights and all that gubbins. Uh, but fantastic. Right then. So, building-wise, let's do our buildings that we know we're going to need. So, Tiana, you are building, which is fantastic. Um, and then here, where we were, Iconian. Let's build that Greek colony. The one problem we might have here is rebellion. So, we might have to build a few other... Uh, troops in there. We've got a Galatian spy in there. That'll be reducing our public order. 30% unrest. He's good at 30%. Normally that's 15, so maybe there's another spy in here. Okay, that army is coming back. I don't know where it's going. So we'll keep an eye on it. But oh well. Um, so we're building there. Where else were we going to build? We're going to build a market down here, weren't we? In... Fianike. So let's build that. And Samaria we are building, which is fantastic. These places that don't have roads, we're going to continue with our road building project across the empire for the rest of our cash. Um, and do you know what? We'll wait one more turn up here to get an act on uh, Tistai to uh, look after this place. And then here, oh, we do have a ship. Okay, cool. Yeah, we leave the ship there. That's fine. Anywhere else that doesn't have roads. You don't have a road. Build a road. Roads, 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 roads. 
<laughs> Where are all the non-roaded places? Where does not have the roads? You don't have a road. Fantastic. We'll get you building a road then. Uh, these eastern settlements are so spread out, kind of don't really pay much attention to them. I mean, we probably will when Parthia really decides to uh, put the hammer down and attack us. But for now, I think the best thing we can really do is keep upgrading Zadrakata as another option to roads. Oh, we could go for mining. I think we go for mining in some places that have mines. Um... I don't know where has them, though. That's the one issue. Up here. Likely in the hills. Ekbatana, do you have mines? Nope. Uh, what about out here? I know Carmania does. So let's come down towards Carmania. Need to repair that. Um, well, you're unhappy, so let's get a shrine to Hera. Did we have any... Uh Public civil disorder. Oh, let's go through this first, of course. <laughs> uh, you're very unhappy. Let's repair that. And Pacinius, interestingly enough, is quite unhappy as well. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Oh, well. We have made our people very upset. But what can you do, guys? What can you do? You can't keep everyone happy, can you? Our taxes are too high. Um, let's go for a market in Babylon. That'll be the last of our money until we've done our battles. So let's go. Let's get uh, Jerusalem. We've got the ladders, and I think that's going to be plenty enough. Those Nubian cavalry ain't going to do nothing in this battle. It's just annoying we only have one slinger. We do have some Peltas, though, as well, and some Prodromoy. We really need those reinforcements, though, don't we, boys? Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battle map. Here we are. Glorious. Oh. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is class. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is fantastic! What a battle map! King David's tomb! Oh, well, I want to take that. Wow, this... Oh my god, this is one of the custom settlements, guys. And this is absolutely glorious. What a well-defended settlement as well. This side is not the side we want to be attacking. <laughs> all those extra towers. They're all towers, look. And these towers are huge! Huge towers! What a fantastic battle map. I'm actually amazed by this. We're going to have to be careful, though, because if we come into the town square, we're going to be getting shot by that tower. So this way it is, I guess. Um, so I guess we uh, set up around here. Let's get everyone down this way. What a fantastic battle map, honestly. I've not seen this battle map before, guys, and that is brilliant. Yeah, I was enjoying that. <laughs> I was enjoying that quite a bit, wasn't I? Uh, but anyway. Um, so I think, Slingers, you're going to go for there. We'll get our Peltas on a uh, on one of these. We will send the Hoplites up as well. Because it's very likely that... Uh, do we send Hoplites or Theroporoid? I think... No, we don't go Theroporoid because... Right, everyone on the ladders will group you together... Everyone else. Uh, we will go through this gate, of course. But we're going to have to come... Once we've come around, the, we'll come... I mean, we can go that way. That way's fine. That tower's not going to do a huge amount of damage. It'll be fine. But, yeah, we might uh, get all these guys together. Um, right. And they're not even on the walls. Oh, glorious. Thank you. Thank you for obliging us, my friends. What? I just... Oh, I love this battle map. Look at the buildings as well. So we've got Judean style buildings here. Oh, what a... I don't know. I'm just... Ah, I am fanboying hugely over this battle map right now. Ah, one thing. Uh, not that. I uh, need to turn that back on because I was just recording. Lock them on. 
I was just recording some B-roll for the introductions, guys, so that is why the uh, the flags were off. But look at our army. It is bruised and battered right now. These men have been glorious, but don't worry, men. There will be more recruits for the army very soon and a fresh load of glorious cavalry. Let's get there. Speed this up. Surprised they haven't really done any more. They've got skirmishes on there. But my hoplite should really break them to pieces. Make them feel the pain. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of peltasts. And new, uh, it's not really much infantry on this, uh, on this, is that? Uh, I'm, well, I'm happy our peltasts are tanking those shots, honestly. Can they fire back? They are firing back. But they're going to get outgunned here quite significantly. My singers have hardly taken any damage. I wonder whether those towers are firing. Right, let's go. Get them. Now, once you slingers are up, of course, we're going to use you to the best of our ability. Firstly, I don't think we need to take this tower. But we'll come through anyway. If we can get there, I'm, I think we'll have the range because of the height advantage to shoot at these guys. I think we will. Well, one tower's taken. No, don't need to get overexcited, bro. Our poor Peltas are going to fully just die right now. Maybe that's the range we need? Really? Not yet? You can still kind of see them there. I think they'll be able to fire. Okay, good. Hoppatays, let's go. Poor Peltas. They've just been absolutely brutalized there. But the single boy, the single boy survives, so send him through this way. I wonder, I want to see whether he gets shot by that tower. I know it says there it's a tower, but I do want to just make sure. <laughs> now we're here, the gateway should be firing at them. Sure, I, I don't really see us having to do too much here. Look at him, off he goes. Go on, boy. The single survivor. The single surviving man. Um, yeah, we're doing okay. If, if I had a little bit more cavalry, I would just charge them in and run over all these fools. But unfortunately, we don't have a huge amount of cavalry. I'm going to get you in there. And obviously, we don't want Antiochus to die just after and other Antiochus has died. <laughs> so... He's here right now. Doesn't seem like this tower is firing at him. I wonder whether that's a door to get up. I'm, I'm sure these towers will fire. These are huge, though. Look at them. King David's tomb over here as well. Cool. Everything is pretty cool about this. I'm just loving it. <laughs> no more saltiness from me today, guys. No more saltiness from me today. Well, I can't guarantee. Not going to lie. <laughs> I can't guarantee. You should be firing all the time, basically. And if you're not... Ideally, want you firing at the uh, bodyguards and stuff. Let's get the Peltas here. Uh, sorry, the Coplite is there. Don't think we need the Chalka Speeders in this one. Get the cavalry through, though. Oh, who are you? Thetheroporoi is going all the way around there. Do you know what we'll do, then? We'll try and catch him up. We should be faster than him. You could go. Yeah, go. Yes. A single man capturing all the towers. What a brave man. <laughs> um, well, while we have our cavalry, let's go. I know the Prodromoy are not great for charging in, but it's just a, uh, a slinger unit. And while the cavalry is dealing with them, we'll bring our guys up. Okay, we broke them. Now, the general is the, the hard one that we're going to have to... We'll take a lot of damage fighting. This army really is on its last legs, isn't it? It's very much deaded. Let's go straight into the Nubians. Now, let's see whether that tower does fire. So, the Prodromoi are in. I'm not too bothered about losing the Prodromoi now because we've got four Zistaphoroi on the way who are going to be... Uh, Excellent heavy cavalry for us, along with our general, of course. Now, we're going to have to kill them all in here. 
Let's go. Speed this up. A single Peltast is... Where are you, my friend? Where are you? Oh, wait. He's there. So he did manage to get them to fire at their, their Operoi, which is fantastic. Oh, we did kill those guys. Now, all we need to do is hold these guys off the town square. This will be a true test of whether... Um, of whether the towers do fire. Because we'll know. Because there's no one else that can fire any missiles at us right now. So if any of these two guys die. It doesn't seem like it is firing. But I guess it's just an aesthetic thing. But it's pretty awesome. Not going to lie. Yeah, poor guys don't really know what to do, do they? Oh, the Throporoi's here now. Really hope that he doesn't break through, so I'm going to try and push him back. We only need to last 20 more seconds. If he just gets one guy on there, that this whole thing is broken. So, fantastic. We did a good job. What an amazing battle map. I'm glad we fought that and didn't auto-resolve it. Great. Fantastic. Very good. Very good, my friends. Anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And, uh... The irony is not lost on me if I press this button. We are enslaving the Judeans that were living peacefully under Egyptian rule. <laughs> um, but seeing as it's on 6,600, you know, and we're going to stay here for a little bit, maybe. I'm going to occupy. Now, let's find that tomb of King... Uh, the second temple of Yahweh. Ooh. Is the tomb of King David not on here? Because it was definitely on there. Uh, that temple of Yahweh. That doesn't have a cultural problem, does it? Uh, well, yeah, because it's a different culture. Well, no, it's Eastern Hellenic. Oh, cool. Awesome. Where is the tomb of... So, no tomb of King David, then. But I guess the second temple of Yahweh was what it was representing. Pretty good. I'm surprised it's it's a, a large town and not a city. Um, now, what does it think it has? It only has two in there. I mean, we can still keep on conquering. There's no point not to, right? I don't want to leave the slingers behind because they're so useful. Uh, they'll rebel for a turn. What if I sent these guys in? Oh, okay. Maybe... Maybe we do need some more men in there. Seeing as I did occupy it. I mean, these troops as garrison troops are not good. Any mercenaries available? No. We are building Temple of Hera. Let's have a look. So it spreads down here a little bit, Jerusalem. I just want to see the borders so I can see whether they're rebel or not. Um, but yeah, that was a great custom settlement. I mean, I, I think we can wait a turn. You need to go back to there. So we need to build that, and then we need to build this as well. And I think we can wait until we get these guys. Uh, you're waiting one more turn, aren't we? Um, I think everything else is done. We do have some extra cash. I think we've built m roads everywhere. Maybe some of these newly conquered places don't have them? No, they seem to all have them. As the Seleucids, guys, we can only go up to paved roads. Oh, wait, you don't have roads. Such a little settlement. Um, you don't have roads either, but I don't think we can afford it. No. Oh, well. Um, we can only go up to paved roads. We can't do highways unlike the Romans, which is a bit unfortunate, but... We're not the Romans. Not the Romans, so... Is there anything we can build down here? I'll build a sewer in a sewer. Make them a bit happier. Anyway, guys, let us end the turn. Okay. So that settlement next to Galatia did rebel. Honestly, that doesn't really bother me much. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Gives us an extra unit we can take south. I mean, it probably wasn't making much money with the corruption. It's a small city. Probably just a large town. Um, so, no, I'm not I'm not really bothered by that. We are... Our money does keep going up, which is fantastic. 
Aristarchus has a new son. Uh, so let's go to them. Alkaos. Alcohol man. Um, and where do we send you? Zeuxis is uh, getting a bit large, which is great. Oh, you're rebelling as well. God damn it, bro. Civil disorder everywhere. It is the Seleucid way. There was some settlements down here that didn't have people. Uh, was it this one? No. This one? No. <laughs> These new ones, like Militos, for example, doesn't. Halicarnassus does. 1,500. 3,000. I think that's plenty enough. So send out one of your governors, Aristarchus. You are the main governor of this area. So, civil disorder. Syrinx, Trabanx. Uh, with that Odium replaced, this should be fine. Um, but let us build a, a bigger temple of Hera anyway. Nicomedia is pretty upset. Nicomedia is just a town as well. Shocking place. God damn, they might revolt as well. Um, if I take you out of Chalcodon. Chalcodon's now unhappy, but... If I, for example, build a sewer. And you get into Nicomedia. Should make them happy. So we'll have to just keep an eye on the other one. We are the most advanced again, which is good. We've got more children being born. Fantastic. Now, where are these all being? Yeah, cool. Right, this this army now should be pretty strong. Let's go from port to port. Because I don't want my people to die. It looks like it's going to take two or three turns. Lots of roads being built again. Fantastic. Okay, there's a big, uh, bigger, bigger army that the Ptolemies have put together there. That's that's fine. You get back in there so they can't just take it in one turn. Now, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Uh, have we built that market yet? No, we haven't. Right then, now we've built all the roads, it's time to focus on mines. Uh, as well, Antioch, I think... I think we, we carry on. I'm going to queue up two hoplites there going to cost a little bit of cash, but we keep on recruiting at Antioch for as long as we can, I would say. Kaunos. Um, again, I think we auto-resolve that. 138 they killed. It's fine. We'll enslave. Now we can actually see roads, which is great. Elephants are still fine, which is great. Uh, let's destroy the Antigonid thingy. I have a Greek colony here, which is fantastic. Uh, Kaunos doesn't have roads, so let's build roads. Um, yeah, I think it's time for retraining for these boys. And Sardis is all the way over there. Is there anyone I can leave behind, though? That is the question. You can't even reach there in a turn. We need to keep sending these boys out. I mean, you can, but you only have one person. You have two. Are you happy now if I take someone out? No, you're very upset. Hmm. I mean, imagine if we could just leave this Thracian guy two, two guys behind. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? I would really like these guys to get moving. Do you know what? We'll leave the uh, Agira Speeders in there because we can't retrain them anyway. And does that help? Kind of helps. Any really cheap mercenaries, I'm willing to do this just to just to keep our uh, conquests moving. Right, you need to get back to Sardis. Yeah, get there, my friend. We'll retrain everyone we can. We'll also retrain. We'll retrain the, those Chalk speeders with them, I think. Uh, so we'll retrain everyone we can. Actually, you. I do like to have two generals in my armies, just in case. Ariathus. Uh, Sagalossus has grown. Fantastic. Let's build that then. Retinue expands. Let's uh, just see whether anywhere else has grown. Just uh, It takes a couple of seconds to load. Come on. Uh, 
Mm, oh, wait. Yeah, Jerusalem. Yeah, that's the other one we need to do. Let's come into Jerusalem. Let's build that. And then I think... Oh, wait. They've instantly gone very happy. They were very upset. Oh, no. I, I think they were just happy anyway. Could we beat that army? I think we could. It's a bit of a... It'd be a bit of a uh, sketchy battle, though. But I don't think we can leave anyway. I mean, it's on 64. It's very close. But while it's upgrading its settlement, it, it's uh, a little bit spicy and dicey. So, Samaria. You were going to become a bit of a recruitment hub, weren't you? I mean, actually, it should be really be Jerusalem. Because it's becoming a, a huge city. But it doesn't harm us to have two. So, Samaria. You are building. Fine. Right then, uh, we should maybe be able to afford some mines somewhere. Uh, it's just finding where we can build them is uh, the question. Around Carmania. I thought that Carmania had mines. This area. I think that's Carmania. I, I think it is. <laughs> we will see. Uh, someone will doubtless let me know in the comments if it's not. So uh, let me know. Uh, we know we have got mines up here in the north in some of these places. The corruption here just must be horrendous. Was it Ekbatana that were, there were mines? It only costs 3,400 with the generals we have in there. But how much do we lose to corruption? Oh, wait. 95 to corruption. That's it. Wait, it only makes 500. It says 1,000. Bro. Are you sure? Ah, uh, oh well. Oh well. And then uh, we'll keep building in our heartland. Our heartland is where we must focus most of our building because of the low corruption there. The greatest rewards from building come come there, so we'll do that. Uh, Ariathus, you go in there. You're going to join him. And I think it's the first turn we've kind of calmed down a little bit. We should get a straight run from Sardis. Like, we'll probably go along this road and down south to Termesos, if, unless he wants to go through this way, but I doubt that would be the best route to, to take. Just annoyed the Antigonids have uh, declared war on us. We're not even next to each other anymore, bro. So let's go talk to Epirus, see whether we can get an alliance there. We are devoid of allies right now, apart from Atropatine, right? Yeah, they're still our ally, which is great. And so is Bactria and Pergamon, actually. So I guess we're not devoid of allies. Uh, but yeah. Um, we're devoid of troops, though. And... Yeah. Right, let's end the turn, guys. Let's see what happens after this end turn again. Ah, the Antigonids. The Antigonids. Do they really think that blockading that port is going to make a huge dent to my economy? I mean, it's made a bit, to be fair. <laughs> We've gone down to 19,000 now. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's... It's marginal, isn't it? It's very marginal. Very, very marginal. Um, but, yeah. We shall see. So another child for Aristarchus to adopt. Uh, what are you like? You're a good attacker, good defender, true Greek. You're a true Greek, my friend. Truly Greek. Very Greek. Um, we were going to send you to Miletos, weren't we? Whoever needed to. So you go to Miletos. Uh, well, you get to move a little bit further in a second. You guys go to Sardis. Should have really built a, um, a blacksmith in Sardis when I had the chance. So we could upgrade all these guys' weapons and stuff. Now this is going to cost us a lot of money. Like a, a lot. Um, yeah, that's like a lot of our money gone. We only need you and who was, who's the other guy that we're taking? Yeah, it's Al Chaos, so it's you. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty good. We've managed to upgrade all of those guys. So let's not upgrade the bodyguard and get another troop. And out of all these guys, probably the most useful, honestly, will be a Prodromoy. Just, I know we've got, we're going to have three units of cavalry. So a Chalka Speeders would probably be the most useful there. New son adopted. Yep. Rioting in only Alexandria Carmania now. Uh, they've destroyed... The building. Oh, this is a place that gets mines as well. But 
we need public order here first. Uh, I think we just recruit an Akontistai to sort that out. A Krabai can upgrade. Fantastic. Epirus and Achaeans, Pergamon, Ptolemaics, Carthage and Rome have uh, signed a ceasefire. Doubtless not going to be a ceasefire that lasts for very long, I've got to say. Most likely. Uh, we built the, the barracks here. Hmm. Interesting. Good. Good, good, good. Down here, you can join into there. That army is just kind of sitting there, which is great for us. Oh, it'd be lovely if we could just get to there. Uh, but we can't, so let's come here. Our trade around this region should really be improving now. You can see the different trade routes that our people are taking, uh, which is fantastic. Oh, we will be ready to go when we get these guys. I know a lot of these guys are damaged still, but we'll uh, we'll rinse them for all all they've got, really. Um, and we might we might send some back for retraining on the boats, but I don't want to send all of them because that would just be weakening our position a bit too much. Now at Antioch, what are we building? Oh, we are building the army barracks. That's fantastic. That is a good option. Um, and then let's uh, let's go around this region again for some more farming, shall we? Keep on building up those farms. Extra population growth and extra money. What more could you want? Seleucia is building that, which is a great thing to build. That's going to make us a lot of money. Any more farming available? No, not really. We don't have enough to build another mine, so I'll just build a market. That'll be fine. So, a couple of turns of, of quiet, really, guys, which is good. So, I have uh, been informed that I think the... Uh, how many turns? Where do we find out the amount of turns we have done? I've forgotten. Thought it was in here. Hmm. Hmm, I guess not. Oh, wait. 500... It starts on 60, right? 600, sorry, turns. Have we done 66 turns already? No, I don't... Wait. Yeah, it'll be 30... 66 turns will be 33 years. That kind of makes sense. It's either 200 BC or 100 turns that we get our reforms, guys. So, uh, it's going to be a while away <laughs> before we see some of the reformed units. But it, our roster's strong enough that it doesn't need to have the reformed units all the time. Lots of idle resources, but oh well. Let's keep on going. Go to Epirus. You get in there. Make Kaunos happy. Uh, and we'll actually move you along in a bit, Akontistai. We'll move you along. I'll we'll keep you moving. Keep you moving, moving, my friends. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> to all the Americans in the audience, I profusely apologize. Profu... Prof Ah, I can't even speak. Profusely apologize. I apologize profusely. There we are. Sort it out. Uh, you've got a, a Aristarchus. Oh no, that's a Chaos. Wait, you're called Seleucus. You are. You've got a bit of a manage management and law, which is fantastic. Actually, that's decent. We've got to be careful. Oh wait, Alex Arcos as well. Uh. Got to be careful that a lot of that these guys don't die while they they don't have a unit in. Uh, well, I think you go to Adramitten. Where were you? where were you? You were in here, weren't you? You go to Adramitian. You can go through Pergamon. That's fine. They're our allies. They should be happy with that. <laughs> I hope. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're taking you guys. And we're going to to Messos. Yeah, I thought we were going to come around that way. We might actually spot the other city while we're on our journey. Uh, the Agira Speeders. We'll take the Mercenary Galatians and we'll take an Akontistai. You guys will just get rid of. There's only two of you. We can't replenish. You're going to come around as well. Probably into there. Uh, rioting in Loranda this turn. So, a different one every turn. Let's go for that second temple of Hera. Artemita. You've upgraded? You're, yeah, you're near Seleucia, which is fantastic. And we need to keep building at Seleucia, which we uh, 
we have just built a very good building there. Let's see how much money Saluk is making now. That's Babylon. 7,900. Wow. I thought it was going to be high, but I wasn't expecting that much. How much does this bring in? 500, and you cost about 4,000. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. What about you? Oh, you're even better. And you only cost 2,000. Wow. Okay, well, we'll take that. We'll build that. <laughs> Salukia is an absolute powerhouse. How much uh, money? Yeah, you can see the difference. Babylon just, just got nothing on Salukia right now. Um, these inland trade centers are pretty good as well. Yeah, I think we'll build that. And then uh, let's focus on a few more troops. So Antioch, let's keep on going, I think. Oh, we did get the new barracks. So let us build the market. And I want... Oh, I wanted a Chalka Speeders, but we'll build a Theroporoi. No, we won't actually. Because has the market been built down here? Yes, it has. Build a spy first, and then let's see what we can recruit with the rest of our money. Let's recruit some archers. Archers are always good. Archers are always good. They're always uh, nice. So, what about over here? Tiana, you've got one more turn on that. You've got two more turns on Colony 2, so we should be able to retrain these boys after that. Haven't really been paying attention to Cappadocia, not going to lie. Uh, I can't see their big army anymore. It's probably just... Just going in and out, not knowing what to do. <laughs> Standard AI. Uh, you guys. Well, we can uh, we can march forth then. If we leave just those two Akantistai behind. Oh, that's plenty. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. We need to drop you off here. You hopefully... Right then. Well, we can do a draw out battle. That's fantastic. And it's a uh, and it's a field battle which we've not had for a while. He's got two generals. Lots Oh my god. It's all missile troops, bro. Well, good job we brought a load of cavalry with us, eh? Anyway, guys. Yeah, it looks it's fine apart from this one guy. It's pretty much all missile. <laughs> uh so <laughs> let's fight it. Anyway, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. There is something appealing. Something appalling. Yep, something we know. Whoa, what a desolate battle map. I mean, I'm not complaining because trees are kind of annoying, but not in real life. I love trees, but uh, yeah. In the game, when you can't get rid of them, they are a little bit annoying. Um, our poor Prodromoy are probably going to die. In this uh, in this battle, and we're, we're going to be chasing. We're going to be chasing. Uh, don't go chasing waterfalls. Yeah, we're going to be chasing people uh, for a lot of this. So we need to wait for our cavalry because that's the thing that's going to save us. And they've come directly behind us. We've got to remember that in order to take the city, we need to destroy this whole army and destroy those that operate. Um, you guys. We really don't need all these troops. I think... I am i don't want you guys to take much damage. So we'll leave you behind, in, in fact. We don't need... We, there's no... They don't have melee troops, so it doesn't matter. Same with you. You can you can go and chill with... Uh, Chalka Speeders. Oh, Prodromoy. Sorry, guys. I, I forgot to move you guys tonight. But the Zistaphoroi. Now, let's have a look at our Zistaphoroi. We have seen them. But they do look fantastic. Look at them. Here they come, the heavy boys, the heavy cavalry, the big tanks, the big tanks, let's go. Um, I don't need to be on slow anymore. You go and join them. Yeah, we'll use the battered troops because that's all we need. So this army that looked kind of scary is in fact wholly unscary. It's just annoying. <laughs> We'll get all our cavalry in one big block. In fact, no, we won't. Send two of you guys to this side. Oh, the Theroporoi's over there as well. Hmm, we do need to remember about that. I think we send uh, two of you guys there. Two of you guys. The rest of you there. And we'll send these guys here. Wait, how is there an extra unit? Wait. 
Yeah, it's you, isn't it? They're coming here. Good. No, it's not. Who's that extra unit? Bro. Confused as hell. Wait, they're already there. Ah, you. I keep missing you. Whoopsie. Sorry, boys. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Get them. And then we'll uh, Zistafori them in the back. As well as Hoplite them in the back as well. And flay them alive. Okay, no. Not quite that. Not quite that. But, yeah. We'll kill them. <laughs> uh, they didn't get their javis off, it seems. Time to witness the power of the Zistafori, boys. Wait, 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 wait. Wedge formation first. And uh, time to go. Let's watch this. Let's witness the glory of the charge, boys. Okay. Oh, instantly broke them. Fantastic. Well done. Are they going to withdraw? Please don't withdraw. They're bringing their cavalry because they think that that's going to save that poor Theroporoi unit. But it's not really, is it? You guys there. Rest of the cab. Let's go. How many have we killed of the Theroporoi? Pretty much all of them. Ah, uh, Prodromoi. Go away. Don't want to deal with you. Go away, Prodromoi. Hate missile cavalry. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, guys. But I, I do despise missile cavalry with... A serious passion. Now, the idea here is to try and surround them. Problem we do have is those Prodromoi, of course. Okay, they're going in straight for the fight, which is weird because they're all missile troops, but it's actually quite good. Oh, we should absolutely destroy these guys. They're withdrawing. Ha! Get them. We should destroy them. Come on. Lost a few Zisaphore on that charge, honestly. More than I would have wanted. You guys don't fire. Quite a lot, actually. Oh, we've absolutely just surrounded these boys here. Use Zisaphore. Let's get in there. Ideally, this one. I've got a lot more men. Kill him, and then we'll kill this guy. He's not withdrawing yet. I think the Prodromoi have, have gone, so we might not get the city. God, how is he not dead? There we are. I was going to say, how long can you be surrounded for before you die? Now, the rest of these guys are all dying now. Fantastic. Well, one of those Zistafoy has taken a huge loss. We might send them back for retraining straight away, honestly. Um, right then. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. I think that's everyone. I don't even know whether we'll catch them up. Because our heavy cavalry is not, in fact, the fastest, as you can see. Like, they're quite slow. Especially with skirmishers. Or archers, for example. But we need to kill as many as we can. So that hopefully they don't go into the city. Because I don't know. There was probably like 100 Prodromoi. So it would be really close as to whether they fully die or not. And I'm hoping they do. Oh no, they only started with 600. So they're not going to die. Hmm. I think. Anyway, we'll, we'll, well, we'll see. We'll see. Greek Hoplite doing some serious damage. This to Foray doing really well. Well done, guys. You've made a difference already. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And they did, unfortunately, retreat. I think we've got the movement points to... Uh... Oh, that's just the Progeroy in there. We will uh, auto-resolve that then with this army, of course. Oops, excuse me, guys. And, um, yeah. IOP. And then they have another settlement here. I think there's a kind of a gap, and then it's the main cities. We're not even that far away from the main cities yet, are we? Oh, fantastic. Glorious.
Hello, Ptolemaic Diplomat. I wonder whether you fancy a ceasefire yet. Ha! Ha ha ha. Well, we are starting to lose a bit of money because we are training a lot of troops right now. But that is fine. You're going to Militos. Cool. Manage that city for me. God damn Antigonids. I'm not... I'm nowhere near ready to fight you yet. I mean, we could, but... We've got too many enemies. <laughs> Lots of idle settlements, of course. Let's end the turn again. Right, Epirus. Cool. Alliance and map information. Almost yes. Perfect. You've got a lot of allies. So if, per if say, Pontus wanted to attack us... Uh, they're less likely to attack us, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, allied with the Aetolians as well. Kyrene that allied with, that's a good one for us as well. Cool. Well, thank you, Epirus. Very nice of you. I'll take that. Roman Carthage. The old enemies. wonder how Carthage is doing. I mean, probably badly because at the start of the game, your roster is pretty much like paper... Like, paper people compared to the Romans. Um, very, very hard to beat the Romans as Carthage guys with that before your reforms. Yeah, go and give it a go if you fancy. It's it's difficult. Uh, but you can it can be done. Can be done. Um, you can check out my Carthage campaign if you want to see how difficult it really was. Aristandros will take you, my friend. Another one. And you're a Militus. Everyone's just adopting everyone. Another one. Hmm. You, I think... Kaunos would be a good one for you. Rioting in Anaza boss once again. Believe one more turn and you will rebel. So let's get one of those guys. It's a bit of a waste of money, but fortunately going to have to be done. Epirus Achaeans, Pergamon Ptolemies, Seleucids, Epirus allies, Rome and Carthage. Uh, we should go talk to Rome really at some point. Fellow Empire. Well, I mean, it's not quite an empire yet, is it? But they've got a decent chunk of land over there. And while we're at it, let's go talk to some of these barbarians up here. Uh, recruitment. Antioch, we got it. We got a, one of those guys. Let's build a little Chalcospedes. Sagalassos got upgraded. We got a few upgrades, actually. Jerusalem got upgraded. Oh, Jerusalem's plenty happy now. Just the upgrade that they were a bit upset about. Oh, hello. Random scraggles of an army. Uh, yeah. He killed 60 of our men. It's okay. I hope he's now ours. Right. Cool. What I think I'm going to do... I wish you could drag and drop these guys again. I, I don't know why they took that out. I know, like... Doing the whole thing with moving experience around is a little bit gamey, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, ah, that was maybe a bad idea. Should not have done that. Ah, that's going to be really close. Yeah, just about. So we'll send... I think I'll send the Chalka Speeders back as well. Send this contingent back. The scraggles of our army. Get in there. You guys. Of course we want to destroy that. There's not much going on here in this city, is it? There's not much. Uh, Samaria, how are you doing for buildings? We need to build the colonies in order to uh, recruit anything. So let's do that. And then over here, how are we doing for buildings as well? Okay, build a colony there. Level 2 colonies coming soon. We can also get um, mines there. So I wonder whether we can get mines here. No, not quite. What about in Loranda? Loranda needs roads. It's one of the settlements that we don't have roads. You build a shrine to Hera because you're slightly upset. Is there anything we want to build in Antioch? We, we are building. Good. Build some farming. Let's build a little bit of farming everywhere. Everywhere we can. Uh, up here in the north now is probably a good place to uh, expand our farming empire. Um, 
we should move these guys out. Like, there's no point keeping them in here. How upset will you be, Iope, if we move one guy in? Uh, fine, actually, fine. Where were we recruiting these guys? Let's recruit one more and then we'll move some more down. Alright, we'll uh, auto-resolve this as well. There's no point fighting that. Oh, I should have sent the Prodromoy back as well. So they have Gaza here. I think this is a, the end of their settlements in this region. Unless they've got more. See, that's clearly Rebel. So they have a settlement here. So I think they just comes along to the Nile and then all the way down the Nile. I don't think they have many here. And obviously, Rebel settlements are, are not something we're bothered about right now. But we are pushing hard, guys. Really hard against them. So, poor guys. They're going to be uh, absolutely ruined soon. I kind of would like to build a watchtower there. We can see that that's... A rebel settlement. They've got a settlement in this region here somewhere. Mm. And obviously, Termesos there. This is a good army now. Just lacking a little bit of cavalry, but it's not much we can do about that. Sardis keeps on getting unhappy. Always unhappy, Sardis. Why must you treat me like this? Hmm. We do, I think we do one more end turn, guys, and then we'll probably end the episode, so... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do one more. Ah, look at our empire now. Look how far south we have come. Fantastic. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. I kind of want a watchtower, like, here, on the textiles, or just next to it here, so we can kind of see along. And this area as well. Oh, there's a rebel settlement there that we know about. I don't know how we know about Petra. At the... We knew about Petra at the start of the game. We also know about certain places like Marib and Oxaum. Axum. <laughs> we know about those places, but yeah. Anyway, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. And we know about, looks like we know about Rome as well. Okay, yep, we're moving men. We're moving men. Men with Ven. Let's go. Very good. Right, um, yeah. I think everything's going quite well. Sardis is writing now. Of course. Classic. Uh, we'll build a temple there next turn, and that'll be enough to stop them writing, I think. Oh, hello, Rebels. Oh, I forgot about moving you. Ah, Rebels, why would you do such a thing? I mean, it's just an Akontista, isn't it? Look at the Galatian territories rioting. Ha! <laughs> That's fantastic. Kind of want to clean up this area. All those Rebel settlements are anxiety-inducing. Uh, yeah, of course, we keep on accepting these boys. You're in Militos as well. We've got a guy in there. What about in Mylisa? We might as well just fill out this. This whole region has governors, so the corruption should really be impacted by the governors if they get some good traits. So as soon as they become cities, building academies is going to be great. And on top of that, academies uh, improve our, what do you call it, uh, law. So uh, they reduce the corruption anyway without even getting good... Uh, Good results for those guys. Oh, Nikea is, is an absolute nightmare right now. Is there anywhere we can recruit a boyo? No, 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 no. No? We can here, but it's too far away. If we sent a Prodromoy there, 67%. It's pretty good. Hmm. None of these help us with happiness at all. Let's build some roads anyway. 67. I'm hoping they won't rebel. Well, here do we have... Yeah, we've got Akantistai here. What about if I took Zeuxis? That 70% is fine. We'll uh, cover it, though. We'll cover it with a building. Yeah, we'll cover it by building that just to make sure... So, that's the first one dealt with. <laughs> God damn. Isonian. No more public order buildings we can build here. Can we recruit anything? We can recruit an Akontistai. So, let's do that. That's made them happy anyway. 
This is... Why has you suddenly got so unhappy, bro? Unrest 30%. That's very likely spies. God damn. Get rid of these goddamn spies, bro. I need to recruit. Uh, what if I send Polycritus there? It's only gone up to 62. That's still fine, though. Um, we built... So we built that. And we built level 2 colony. So what can we recruit? We can only still recruit those guys. So I think City Barracks should help out. Then over here... Wait, did we not build the colony? Why can't we build... Oh, we are building it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was dumb. Right, other more civil disorder. Sardis. God damn Sardis. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Stop being so silly. Let's build a shrine to Hephaestus. And um, while we're here, let's recruit an archer. That'll be fine. And then we can use that archer later. Pergamon and Ptolemy's uh, ceasefire. Carthage and Rome were at war one turn after they, they did a ceasefire. So, well done, guys. You're uh, really, really doing well on keeping that ceasefire. Um, let's get you into there. This army down south is is fantastic. Oh, this is a pretty big garrison, though, in Gaza. Cool, though. Um, now, down here, I think we should do places we haven't. We'll build the Temple of Hera. Let's build it there. Just to keep them happy. We can't build Temple of Hera here. How about a sewer or something? I think uh, I think everything's going quite well, honestly. Quite happy. Pretty happy with how things are going. Anatolia is soon going to be secured. So once Anatolia is secured, guys... Wait, you're going to Kaunos. Cool. When Anatolia is secured, from the Ptolemies, I mean... We can uh, send this big army straight to Cappadocia and just wipe them out. Like, <laughs> as well as Galatia. And then we'll pretty much own... From, like, here, across to, across, like, to here. Which would be pretty good. It puts us potentially at war with Pontus or um, Armenia, but Armenia have been bordering us for a while, and they haven't yet decided to attack, but I don't want to say that too many times, otherwise they're going to attack, aren't they? Um, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I'll see you again on the next video.